Hey, what's up, everybody? We're playing Bravely Second again, so let's just go ahead and start right away. No wasting any time. So I think we heard a crash, right? I, it's a couple days after the last episode. I went to a wedding and had a bunch of stuff, so... But I think we heard a big crash. Let's go see. What in a, An airship? It's not like any model I've seen before. Oh, I have to walk. Okay. Hey, are you okay? <sighs> oh, thank heavens. She's just unconscious. <sighs> there must be something around here I can use to wake her up. Do we have like a wake up bell? Aren't those used for sleeping people? Um <clears throat> No. Oh, maybe I gotta go get something from the magnolia tree. Yeah, that that make more sense. Let's go over to the tree. Oh yeah, I remember in the last episode, didn't he say this stuff was used to wake people up? Magnolia blossom. Okay, yeah, and I remember from the last episode he mentioned something about uh yeah that the stuff from that tree being able to wake people up. So let's go and uh, give that to her. Hopefully she'll wake up here. The fragrance of the magnolia is able to rouse anyone from slumber. Uh, come again? Oh dear, you don't understand me, do you? I, uh, uh, No, oh. I understand. Forgive me. Oh, my head is still spinning. Uh, here, try this. This is... It's a flower. A magnolia, to be exact. Take a deep whiff. It'll help clear your senses. You... You're giving this flower to moi? But... We've only just met. Uh, of course. You're the one I picked it for. Oh, <laughs> Are you crying? What's wrong? Je veux bien. Don't fais pas. Thank you. I shall cherish it forever. <laughs> now you're making me blush. I'm you, by the way. What's your name? My name? Uh, bon. Um. I'm Magnolia. Magnolia Arch. Magnolia? Like the flower? Yes! Like the flower. But a coincidence, no? I'll say. Come with me, Magnolia. There's someone I want you to meet. <clears throat> cool. Idia, finally you're awake. Hmm. Just as all you can eat cake buffet was about to begin. Oh. <laughs> Talk about sweet dreams. And now this strange airship. Wait, maybe I'm still dreaming. <gasps> the cake. You're not dreaming. Mm, I knew it was too good to be... Hmm? Who's that? Well, to make a long story short... What? So she just fell out of the sky? That's right. So, uh... Where exactly do you come from? Where exactly? Well... In not so many words... I'm from the moon. The moon? You're, you're pulling our leg, right? Mais non, I'm très sérieuse. The moon is, was, my home. It was all but destroyed, you see. This is why I've come to your world. To seek vengeance against our enemy. Von Jones? Yes, 
The fiend hides itself within that flying castle. The Skyhold? That's where we're going too. Our enemy is there also. And so is a friend who needs our help. Oh, Lavash! But you must let me go with you. La what? I mean, we must? Our destination is the same. Why not travel as one? And I accepted your flower, no? I'm stronger than I look. Mm, what do you think, you? Well, she doesn't look like an Imperial spy or anything. I, I say the more the merrier. You have a point. Let's make it official then. I'm Idia Lee. Pleased to meet ya. And I'm you, Eugenie Olja. Welcome aboard, Magnolia. Oh, and we can't forget you know who. I have heard everything, my friends. All of us, you have a little girl. This is Her Holiness, Pope Agnes. She's the one we're gonna rescue. A pleasure to meet you, Agnes. I'm Magnolia Arch. Magnolia, you will lend your strength to Idia and you, yes? I offer my sincerest thanks and ask that you please take good care of my dear friends. But of course, leave you to me. Idia, Agnes, I will think of you as my beautiful sisters. The sun will be up soon. Let's catch a few more winks and set off at dawn. You know a shortcut to Central Command, yes? I sure do. It's a bit chilly, though. Good thing I'm used to the cold. <laughs> That's the spirit, Magnolia. You can count on moi. Okay. <clears throat> this could potentially be a pretty cool new character here. As long as um, <clears throat> they don't screw up in any way. But so far... Pretty cool new character. I like it. Um, it's so, like uh, on the moon to help rebuild their home. Oh, it's just like uh, in the first game. Except now we're rebuilding a colony on the moon. Uh, a ball attack has left Magnolia's home. Do you want to rep As the moon recovers, this freeze will help serve you and his friends. Okay. Uh, you want to repair? Number of workers. So it's the same. Okay. Let's get building. So it's the same thing as before, right? So now we can go, we have to go, you know, we can open up separate parts and all that. So first is this potion. Okay. We only have one worker at the moment. Okay. That's cool. Okay, cool. Well, then what I'm going to do after this game, as you guys know, I'm on an emulator, I'm not on a real 3DS, I will have to, and so that therefore Street Pass doesn't work, none of that stuff works, I'll have to um, give myself a couple more villagers, but we're going to do that later, I'm not going to worry too, 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 too much about it now, that's cool, okay, so let's go ahead and just do a quick save a here, Magnolia is level 6, and right now it looks like, job, we still have only wizard and freelancers, so I think. Let's see what kind of equipment you got. Moonglaive. We can give her a shield for now. We can give her a pilgrim's hat. Um, I think this would be non-beneficial at the moment, and then some leather gloves. Okay, she'll be good for now. She'll be an attacker until we get um some cooler class. So let's go ahead and move on here. Over to what? What are we at right now? Okay, nine minutes. We're good. We enter a cave. Frozen hollows. <sighs> and I thought the moon was cold. Grin and bear it. Tis is waiting for us on the other side of these caves. No pain, no gravy, everyone. But I can feel the monsters all around us. Let's be on our guard. Let's get it. Then I should tell you how to use this. Oh. oh, is that how we do the Bravely Second? An hourglass? That and much more. It is an ancient relic passed down by my people with the power to store time energy. By unleashing that energy, one can... For the most fleeting of moments, stop the flow of time. Stop time? Well, that's 
amazing. I've never heard of anything like it. Use it wisely, and it will serve us well. But why not press the start button in battle and try it out for yourself? <sighs> okay. Press. Okay. Well, can't really use that um, because we cannot go into sleep mode because I'm on an emulator. So that is what that is. Okay. Uh, are we good? Okay. Moving on here. Let's see what we got up in this cave. So we should be five to nine. We are five. So I want to fight some things. There we go. I was wondering. I'm like, where's the enemies at? Okay, I shouldn't probably. I don't want to be on repeat right now. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and repeat, execute, and we'll be good. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Yes. They just did reflect, and if you would have gone, not only would have would have I wasted MP, but I would have also hurt myself. So that's good. That idea went first there. Eye drops, okay. That's in case we go blind. Okay, we got a big ice dragon thingy. This thing shouldn't be that hard. Okay, literally a Dia can take it out by herself, so that's good. That's good. I'll probably... I don't want to start grinding yet because I feel like we're at the part of the game where if I... I could grind for an hour here and it won't really matter that much. Where if I get to like, you know, a level 20 or something, that's when I grind and it actually makes like a pretty large difference as far as the game goes, you know. So, um, okay, another dead end. Oh wait, no, it's a... I didn't see the little twinkle because of the blue. See, I feel like I don't really want to grind yet because it feels like grinding is not very necessary at the... And also, if I grind, I want to have all my four characters. Excuse me. Yeah, so without four care. Ooh. Doing a little bit of sneezing. Yeah, I feel. Ooh. Ice Princess. Okay, I need to kill him before you goes here. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't want to grind before I get my all my four characters because then my fourth character will be probably behind. You know, I'll have everyone at like, what, level 15 or something? And my guy will come in, he's level 10. It's like, okay, well, now we're all crazy mismatched. So I'm just going to continue on the game with how it should be normally. I'll get my fourth character and then we start grinding a little bit. But during that meanwhile, I will take all of the normal fights in the game and all that stuff. Just to, you know. Okay. Is she blind or something? How you hit us? How you miss so many? Okay. But yeah, and I'm also looking forward to better jobs because I don't want to level these guys up crazy and some like weird... There's just, you know, in Freelancer, I want to upgrade, you know, an actual ability and all that, so. Yes. I'm waiting for some new jobs. Allies get first strike, okay. Okay, Magnolia literally just did it all by herself. you love to see it. Any chest, any chest. Antidote, okay, 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 okay. Let's make our way... Probably to the next. I know that that one section took a really long time, but. Swarming with enemies, no? Perhaps even this Kaiser is among them. Do we truly stand a chance? Well, to be honest, I, I can't say for sure, but we have to try. If we fight together with all we've got, everything will be gravy. We'll awaken Tiz, then rescue Pope Agnes, and take out the Kaiser as our final coup. Everything will be gravy. Right. This time they'll get what's coming, and we'll make everything right. This will be our coup de gravy. Coup de gravy? <laughs> it's like the words of Lux and Dark in the Moon have become one. It, it is? But of course, j'adore. Coup de gravy, coup de gravy. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Now. Let's be off, everyone! Let's go! Allons-y! I... Ah, Allons-y! That's cute. Yeah, I like, uh, Resta... Okay. So I can... In this game, it's a little different, because I can actually rest with the red guy, the adventurer, so that's cool. Yeah, I, so far, I really like this dynamic between the characters. 
So, so far so good. Allies get first strike again. You absolutely love to see it. And then again, Yu is not using his magic. He's the last one, which is good and bad. In a normal boss battle, I'd really like the magic to get out there first. But in these auto battles, it's a lot better to have him last because it lets me save as much MP as, you know, humanly possible. So, you know. It's, uh, it's good. It's bad. It's both. Party's feeling brave. Okay, so we get an... Okay, see, right now, I need you to not attack because that might mess things up. Once again, we're perfect. Yeah, honestly, having you on auto with those types of enemies is a little bit dangerous, but you know what? I like to live on the edge, so I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to worry too much about it here. Another battle. See, another reflect. I need you to not do anything crazy, but Adia's just got one enemy. I'd be surprised if she missed it. Yeah, it seems like they recommended 5 to 9, but even level 5s are alright at the moment. Because we're defeating him pretty easily. Without even having that third character move an inch. But I will gladly take all of these fights. Because more XP. And we have that. So let's continue here. And we'll have to redo the auto battle, but that's alright. Not, not that big of a deal. Okay. Oh, we might have to walk all the way back, huh? I missed that little section in there. I think I'm going to have to walk back here. Yeah, he's a decent guy. He's completely weak. For the most part. Nobody pushes himself too good. Either. Okay, I'm going to travel all the way back because I need that little section over there. Alright, what did we come all the way here for? 300 pig! I'm not even mad about that. You know what? So, you know, 300 peaks, 300 peak, my guy. Ooh, an adventure. Okay. Um, instead of using the bed, I'm just going to go ahead and use potions because I think that'll be fine here. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a quick save, because there might be a fight coming up here. Okay, nope. Let's move forward. You, Magnolia? We're almost there. Plus lui. I was turning into an icicle. Halt! Intruders! Ooh, we got the chariot guy. know you from the forest let me guess this oversized four-legged brute fights for the empire too i verily i am a warrior Kuhulan. and where lady bella serves i serve alice well here's a robust one you eluded us last time, but now we are two. <gasps> and you are three. But who cares? Yes, with our powers combined, you are sure to die. A doll? It speaks? You should be, for this is my forbidden power. Ha ha ha, verily, Lady Bella is a master of the lost art of ventriloquism. <laughs> uh, beg pardon, my Lady Bella. I meant only to praise your preeminent skill! These two are almost charming, but we mustn't let down our guard. Yeah, we had enough trouble last time, and now there's two of them. Don't forget about moi. Yours truly makes us three. You would boast of strength in numbers? Then what say you to this? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where did all those blades come from? 
<laughs> Kuhulan is my name. A thousand weapons do I wield. I shall trample you all beneath me. Two arms. Two arms. Here they come. All right, we fight them. I am Kuhulan, the crushing chariot. Servant to Lady Bella, who did summon me from that ancient battlefield, and bearer of the asterisk of the charioteer! And I am the dark Vestal Bella. Bearer. <laughs> Former <laughs> of the asterisk of the wizard. Together. We are an invincible team of swords and sorcery! Verily, behold the power of master and servant fighting as one! Okay, let's go ahead and do... Ooh, I can craft. Alright, well, let's just do heat. Okay, let's just do cast as is, cast as is, cast as is. Okay, with Adia, let's go ahead and just do four attacks on... Hmm, we should probably get rid of Ku first. And then with Magnolia, we're going to go ahead and default here. Okay, we'll do some heats here. Should do a good amount of damage here. Okay, ooh, that guy is high defense. Okay, so we should really focus just magic on him. Frost... Okay, counter physical attacks with magic. So we can only hit him with magic, so that's fair enough, I guess. Let's go ahead and default here. Again. Ooh, ouchie. Yeah, that's okay. Let's go ahead and default again. Okay, <clears throat> that hurts a little bit. Okay, now what we could do just a couple attacks on Bella here. Frost, okay, it's gonna... Ooh, that hurts a lot. Okay, we'll definitely have to heal after this turn. Okay, so with you, I still don't have any healing, huh? Let's default. Default. And let's go ahead and... Actually, we only need two. Let's do potion. And potion and please okay <gasps> she sir oh he survived very narrowly there okay that's okay let's go ahead and do a heat on Ku wait no we can't do that because he is protected currently okay then we really should just take out Bella right so let's do heat dart at Bella and then with Adia, let's go ahead and, um, I guess it wouldn't matter. Let's just attack Bella. There we go. Ouch. Yeah, I think we really just should take out Bella because that wall on him is really not helping at all. So let's just do dart at Bella again. And then let's just hit him. Let's do two attacks and get both of those on Bella here. Hopefully we can kill her pretty... Ooh, okay. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Okay. Who knew they were this strong? Save yourself, Ku. Forget about the Kaiser. I brought you back to live. My Lady Bella! My Lady Bella! Fear not, my lady. Your loyal vassal shall soon join you! 
for master and servant are always as one! Your heads I shall gift to my lady in the afterlife! Come, my foes, kill and be killed! For today, we fight and die as warriors! Always screaming. Always screaming. Oh, ow, ow. Oh, he attacked the defaulted person. You love to see it. Let's go and do a couple more defaults here. Is he still walled off? No longer walled. Okay, well then uh, let's just go ahead and kill him, right? Dart. Just dart at him. Oh no, with a D, I don't want to default. I want to brave, attack, 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 and brave. Attack, 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 attack. And if something goes wrong, Adia will still be able to move, which is fine. Oh, he seems to be really weak to magic. Okay. Oh, ow, 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 don't do that. Yeah, Adia seems to be not doing a whole lot of damage to him. Okay, that sucks a little bit. Okay, let's just go ahead and try to do a potion on you. Because he's almost dead. Okay, that didn't hurt that bad. It's default. Okay. Okay, we can do five more heats here. Oh, does Dart take up? Oh, I see. Okay, so just cast as is. We can do that four times if we just cast as is. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, this should kill him though either way. If this doesn't kill him, I'd be very surprised. All right, let's go. Yeah, ooh. Yeah, he's not like doing anything. Magnolia is doing a bit more. Maybe it's because of the spear. Ooh. I need you to finish him off here. Please. Oh, no. This is gonna suck. Oh, maybe not. Oh! We actually survived it. Well, that is crazy. I did not expect to survive that one because I went deep into the red there. But, hey. Fair enough. I didn't get punished for my mistake. So, you know. Oh, and I have no more magic. So it looks like Magnolia is going to have to finish him off herself here. If she can, hopefully. Yeah, we, sh we don't even do anything with him. Let's just default and um, hope that he hits defa the defaulted person. Okay. Keep defaulting here. Um, let's, keep, let's, def let's default. Default, default, default again. Yeah, I don't care if he does a little bit more magic. I just need Magnolia basically ready here. Because Magnolia seems like is the only one that actually is doing damage at the moment. Oh, we won. Cool. Got a good bit of JP there. And we got damage dispersion and a new asterisk. The charioteer. What does that do? Mass arms are learns triple wield weapon toss. Okay. So what is he good with? So this guy is really great at armor. Just about average with all of the weapons. such a fight thank you magnolia we couldn't have done it without you <laughs> i told you i was stronger than i look tell me about it you're the best i knew it from the start i said you this girl's a force to be reckoned with i don't remember you saying that well i'm saying it now magnolia you will stay and fight alongside us, yes? May we? I will stay by your side till death do us part. Uh, thank you. I think. All right, now let's get moving. Tiz should be just up ahead. Here, I've marked it on our map. Right. Time to pour on the gravy. This man really loves his gravy, apparently. Uh, talk to the faithful father. Set up a use magic tent. Okay. Uh, that curse, and uh, nowhere else. Listen, and you might see, you know, a whole new light. Okay. 
So I oh so I could talk to the fox. Okay, let's do a quick party chat. He why hello there, huh? Hello, did you want something? No, not at all. I have everything I could ever ask for. Is that right? Then why are you staring at me like that? He he. Oh you. What I mean? Yes, Magnolia. It's nothing. I just like saying your name. You. You you do. Okay, spill it. You. What the heck did you do to her? What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. Yeah, right. She's staring at you like I stare at a plate of sugar. Frosted sugar cream cookies. No, she's... Okay, fine. She is, but why? I, I have no idea why. Now, now. Don't leave me out. Whatever's so interesting. I want to hear, too. Oh, another party chat. Okay, let's uh, go for uh, another party chat. The Ancient Warrior. You know, that Chu Chilean fellow. I feel like I know him from somewhere. Like a fairy tale or a history book? I don't think so. It was something more tangible. Oh, that's right. It was in my father's study. Your father's study? One of the treasures my father claimed for the orthodoxy was a golden idol, the guardian of the ancient forest. I broke a replica of it playing around as a child in the scolding I got that day. Well, it still sounds like a fairy tale to me. An ancient warrior, half man, half horse. And yet, that's exactly what appeared to appeared before our eyes. With a presence that gave me goosebumps and a battle cry that echoes still in my heart. He was as real as you or me. I wonder if we still have that replica. I'll have to ask Alfred next time I visit home. Okay, guys, but I'm going to end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.